Hi, I'm Jose. And I'm Matt. And welcome back to another SBT Tech Tip video. Today we're going to cover rotary valve timing. Matt, what are some of the tools that we're going to need? Um, well, the first thing we're going to need is um, something to check the top dead center on the flywheel piston and, of course, our timing degree wheel so that we can actually time the valve. Um, but to start off, what we're going to do is put the flywheel piston at top dead center and what we're going to do is use this marker and when the piston stops at the very top is when we're at top dead center which we can check and then the next thing we're going to do is take our timing degree wheel and we're going to put our 360 mark or our zero mark at the bottom of the intake port on the right hand side or the flywheel side of the engine. So you can set there. And then we're going to go for this particular engine, we're going to go counterclockwise 130 degrees, which we can see here. And then we're going to take our marker and make a mark on the engine so that we can set the valve to there. So we're going to take our timing degree wheel off and then set our valve there. Now we can see it's, it's a little off here, but that's actually okay. And you can be plus or minus five degrees, so where the valve is set here is okay. Okay, now what are some of the scenarios or reasons why you would want to replace that? Well, uh, we actually have a cover here that has some grooves on it. And when it has these types of grooves, it'll actually have it on the valve as well. Um, then you have to replace it. And the reason being is because um, it actually causes blow by. And what that does, it you'll be able to rev the engine up on the trailer, but it won't rev up in the water. So at that point, you do have to replace it. And this is one of the, these are one of the things you have to check um, on the rotary valve engines when you have that scenario. And what should a cover, a rotary valve cover look like? Well, we have a remanufactured one here from SBT. And as you can see, the, the difference here, um, it, it's very smooth compared to the other one, which had grooves on it. Okay. And you can uh, pick one of these up at uh, shopsbt.com. Okay. Well guys, there you have it. Replacing your rotary valve um, is a pretty easy job. For more videos like this, please visit our YouTube channel.